I grew up in Ohio. I uh, I went went as, when I got older enough. I went to Ohio State University, uh, but then uh, the the war came along when I was in the, at at Ohio State. Why I joined the Navy yeah. is I I guess my breath. My buddy Nick talked me into it. I was going to join the Army, uh, but, but he, he said, let's go in the Navy. We had never been to sea before. We were from Ohio, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the way inside. Uh, no, 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 well, Lake Erie was right next to us, but I mean, aside from that, there was no water. If you got to remember something. During, when after Pearl Harbor, the whole country all of the young men all wanted to be in the service. They didn't know what the service was all about. You know what I mean? They didn't know about the, the dying and the killing. They, they just knew that they wanted to go. And, and everybody signed up because it was a whole country that wanted to go because of the Pearl Harbor. I was only 19. I, I didn't know enough to be scared. <laughs> now, when you're that young, I mean, you, you don't realize what's going on. They sent me to Great Lakes, Illinois. Great Lakes had a training station in Illinois. I spent uh, six weeks there, and then they sent me to radio school. Uh, I spent four months at radio school, and then that's when I got transferred to my ship, the USS Summers, uh, DD-381. That's when I got that's when I, and I stayed on that summers during the whole war. We left on, 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 uh, on uh, June 5th, and the invasion was the 6th, so we, we didn't get there. We, we went from, from Plymouth, England, down to Normandy, North France, mm -hmm. and that, that took us all night. And at, at daylight, at daylight, we were off the coast of, of France, at Normandy, and as I, I I was at the 20 millimeter gun, and when I looked out and saw, I saw thousands of ships all around us. I, I never, and during the night, we never saw any. You know? mm -hmm. But it was thousands, and they contained, and they all, they all had soldiers on them. You know, five, they, each ship carried 5,000 soldiers, soldiers. And as I looked in the sky, there was, there was a, uh, hundreds of, of B-17 airplanes, mm -hmm. and then they were some of the B-17s were were towing gliders, and on the gliders were, were the commanders, commandos, and they they were going to be dumped behind the enemy lines so that we could come in and get get aboard the, the coast. When I I remember I remember this, I remember. <clears throat> we fired at many guns on the uh, on the shore, and but in the water there was hundreds of American soldiers. With, they couldn't make it ashore because of the, uh, the Germans had had all kinds of guns on the shore, and the, and the, as these soldiers uh, entered from the from the they were shot at. yeah they were shot and the water was full of soldiers. I later found out there was 5,000 of soldiers killed that day. Is that, is that an image that yeah. stays with you? Yeah, it, it, it was very, very bad. Uh, we, uh, we went back to, to, to uh, back across the Atlantic and start bringing more, more troops over. And that, that's when I, I copied that the, the war had ended in Germany. I was copying out a code. And, it came in English, you know, it wasn't in code, you know, it, it came in English. I copied it, I could hardly believe it. And then we turned on our lights, you know, yeah. and I, I was really af afraid, that's when I was, I was most afraid, I was afraid that some submarine had not got the message. <laughs> Before, Normandy was the greatest thing, but I believed that when I received this award from uh, from Germany. For France. France. I think that I will, it will be the greatest thing in my life.